everyone, it's Latin Roses. Today I want to talk to you about apple cider vinegar. Is it medicine? Our founding uh, father in medicine, Hippocrates, used to prescribe apple cider vinegar to treat everything from asthma, diabetes, and cancer. More recent studies have shown that cancer cells have shrunk when taking apple cider vinegar in rats. Not very many studies have been taking place in humans, and I'll let you ponder about that one. But what I want to talk to you about today is what it has done for me personally. Apple cider vinegar is my medicine, and what I like to use is Bragg's apple cider vinegar. That's the brand that I use. It's the best tasting. It is unfiltered, unpasteurized, not very expensive, and actually has on the bottom of it the mother and you want to make sure whatever apple cider vinegar you choose whether it's Bragg's or not that it has the mother in it. The mother is like it looks like a white uh, spider web at the bottom of the bottle and it contains all the good stuff that helps you um, helps apple cider vinegar heal you and help you in so many ways. Now I'm not a doctor I'm not saying it's going to heal you or cure you anything, but I am saying I want to share with you what it has done for me. So back a couple years ago, I started having a lot of heartburn, indigestion, uh, problems with my gallbladder, and I was doing all these research on natural remedies. I didn't want to be taking the stronger medicines that my doctor prescribed. I try to use more natural methods when possible. So I, I did a lot of research and apple cider vinegar kept coming up, Bragg's in particular, and I started taking it for my heartburn and it would literally disappear in seconds. I mean, it was gone quickly. Then I noticed when I was trying to uh, heal my gallbladder of the stones, I actually did some natural gallbladder flushes and I actually flushed a lot of my gallstones out. And I noticed though, after that, if I tried to like eat some junk food, if I ever wanted to go to a party and have some cheesecake, it would really affect my breathing. I had asthma back then, really bad. And I also, it would affect my gallstones. And I would, because they all did not come out, you have to keep doing these flushes. And I was having problems eating a lot of food, like butter, and it would cause pain you know, under the rib cage where the gallbladder is. So I started drinking the apple cider vinegar in water. I got used to the taste. I love it now. It doesn't taste bad to me. Some people can't get past the taste, a little sour, strong vinegar taste, but I'm used to it, like two tablespoons in water every day. I can eat almost anything I want without being in pain. I no longer have the acid reflex, the indigestion, and then I noticed it actually started doing more stuff. People start saying that this also helps with weight loss. I haven't noticed that yet, but I have noticed some other very important things. I just feel so much better now that I use this. So what happened too also is I had like a little small cyst on my leg, and my doctor said, you know, you have to. The only way you could get rid of it is to remove it with surgery. And I also read about the anti uh, bacterial antifungal properties of apple cider vinegar. So I started a little experiment on myself. I put this on my little baby cyst daily, twice a day. Sometimes I was bad. I skipped several days, but pretty much uh, every day, twice a day, it was harder to dry it out. Then I would pick at it and and sh get off a couple layers of that. I did this for, I don't know, several months. I'd have to say actually it was over six months because, like I said, I was bad. I didn't do it every day. And it actually darkened. I'm, I'm very light-skinned, so it darkened the area where I was picking at it. But I kept putting the apple cider vinegar on, kept peeling off a few layers of the dead, dry part of the skin that it, as it was drying it out. And it's gone now. It's flat. It's gone. The skin returned back to normal color and that was without surgery. And that's what it did for me. So that is pretty powerful. And one more story, my son got really ill. He went to the doctor twice in one day into the urgent care. They really didn't know what he had, some kind of virus they called it. He was having so much pain when he went to the bathroom. He was just excruciating pain. He was screaming. 
and he had a fever, he was hot, he was cold, he was very weak, very nauseous, and I was taking care of him. Next thing you know, I woke up the next morning and I was hot and cold. I was very weak. I could barely get up and I had a, a very bad, painful headache. So I remembered I had some apple cider vinegar in a cup of water next to my bed that I didn't really hardly touch and I just started drinking it. I drank the whole, I think it was actually two cups in that glass. I drank it and within an hour my headache was gone, my fever was gone, and the only thing I still had left was uh, weakness and a little bit of nausea. And I would say within a couple of days I kept drinking the apple cider vinegar. I was getting better and better and my son was still not feeling well and he was like, how come you're not getting any worse? And I said, because I'm drinking my apple cider vinegar, do you want to try it? He's like, no, no. But when he was going to the bathroom and he was screaming still and the medicine the doctor was giving him wasn't really helping him, he said, okay, okay, I'll, I'll try it. So I gave him some. He drank a whole cup of it, made a face, didn't like the taste, but he drank it. And the next time he went to the bathroom, there was no more screaming. And he got better right after that. I mean, he started getting really better really fast. And he still is not sure if it was apple cider vinegar, but I'm sure that it was. That's what it did for me. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying it's going to help you or cure you from anything, but it does help. It helped me, and so I wanted to put that out and share it with all of you. So if it helps, great. But like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying it's going to help you, but it is my medicine. This stuff is my medicine. I can't be without it. I drink it every day, and I feel so much good. Whenever I feel nauseous, you know, if I get nauseous, I start feeling like I'm getting sick really bad headache. I just take two tablespoons and a cup of water. I drink it down. I don't mind the taste and it helps me. It is my medicine. I don't know about you guys, but it's my medicine. I can say that with confidence. I, can, I don't know what I do without this. This is my medicine. Gotta be with it. Can't be without it. And uh, if you're interested in researching more of apple cider vinegar, you really should. If you're on medicines already, like for diabetes and heart conditions you might want to research because I hear there can be some side effects and bad interactions with apple cider vinegar for people on those kind of medications so if you want to use it to treat yourself naturally you probably have to taper off your own medicine a little bit but you have to do your own research because it can be dangerous you have to know what you're doing so if you don't if you're not on medication you should be fine but if you're on any kind of medications do your research and see if you want to dry it so if you have any stories about how apple cider vinegar has helped you, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to stay in touch, subscribe. And as always, I wish you love, peace, and joy.